the one in a million channel my name is Eunice Chan and today we are talking about resting to manifest resting to receive and this is such a powerful topic because I have sat with this one for so long I have worked with this one on myself and with my clients for so long and a lot of times a lot of our conversations have always come back to resting and receiving and honoring the the space that we can hold for ourselves so that you know we have even more of a capacity to receive and as ridiculous as the subject may sound i know it sounds a lot like i'm telling you guys to not do anything and it, it sounds like i'm just telling you guys to be lazy but i think there is so much more than that you know there's so much more to intentional resting and giving space to yourself than just the plain simple fact that you're just judging yourself to be lazy. I think those are two. It's like a, there's a very fine hairline between resting and being lazy. And oftentimes when people perceive rest, especially on themselves in their own lives, it's easy to tell yourself that, oh, you know, I can't allow myself to be lazy. I've got to be doing something. I've got to be moving forward. I've got to, you know, improve myself. I got to do something productive. Otherwise, I won't feel like I'm moving forward with my life. This is kind of where like we take away our ability to receive because if we're always filling up every minute of our schedule every hour we're always like trying to chase after something and do something and we are not giving ourselves space to experience you know the unknown and spaciousness and time and presence with ourselves and you know not having to do anything for an afternoon and we're always packed with things to do and pay, things to pay attention to, things to attend to, people to attend to, conversations to have, things like we're always like catching up, you know, the next thing. Then we don't allow ourselves to explore the unknown. And what I want to tell you about manifesting is that it is all about the unknown. It is all about miracles and everything that is out there beyond your current reality everything that is in your current reality you already know you already predicted you already like have manifested in your own in your own way or form it's already in your vision like you already expected those things but things that are out there things that are in the future things that you have not touched yet things that you have not called into your life yet those things are in the in the potential outside of what you're already experiencing and if you are perpetuating the cycle of i got to do something i'm always giving my time always giving my effort giving my 100 percent dedication to doing something and i'm living a super structured life and i'm not giving myself any space to relax play, enjoy, be with myself, do absolutely nothing, even if it's just for an hour, then all we're doing is to keep putting the same kind of programming into the future or rather into the now. And we're keep putting in the same thinking, habits, actions, beliefs into the cycle. And it's no wonder that we keep receiving the same things. So no, it is not lazy. This is just a justifiable way to tell yourself, no, I do not want to rest. There is also a big fear when it comes to resting. And do you guys know what it is? Now, I want to talk about the fear of resting because for a very long time, I have also tried to push it a like push it away from me. I've always told myself, it's not a convenient time right now. I've got a lot of things to do. I will rest, but I will rest later, right? I will rest when I'm really burnt out and tired. Mm -hmm. There is a fear around resting and it lies in the subconscious mind, meaning that we're not even truly aware of it. We're probably not truly aware why we're resisting the rest. So first of all, it's 
What does that mean about me? It doesn't mean that I'm not strong enough, that I'm not dedicated enough, or I'm not committed enough to pursue my dreams and goals and, you know, having the things that I want. You know, maybe if I just make that one more call, one more sales call, then I can get the next client, right? If the client is what I want to manifest, then surely if I just do the one more call or if I just schedule one more call, then it means that I'm going to have that client. It's the, the fear of this judgment that we have upon ourselves. The other thing and the bigger thing around you know, what lies in the subconsciousness and why we resist rest is because we're so afraid what comes through our rest. Like I didn't, I didn't even know this, you guys. I didn't even know the true reason why I was resisting this rest. And I keep just having to be busy because I was so afraid of not knowing what to do with myself. It feels a lot better I feel so much better to know exactly what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, how I'm contributing to my future, um, you know, all the predictable things that make me feel like, oh, I'm exactly on the right track, right? That's a very like, oof, like that feels good kind of feeling. But on a deeper level, we're afraid of stepping into the unknown. We're afraid that if we just spent an afternoon or a weekend or a month or a week to ourselves, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what I like. I don't know what to do with my time. What if I get bored? What if I get sick of myself? I don't like those thoughts in my head. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to think. What, What am I going to think? What am I going to what am I going to tap into? What if, what if all these thoughts and things come to me during my rest and then I kind of have to take care of them and then I have to think about them, I have to confront them and I don't really, I don't really have time for that. There's so much in the subconscious that we don't already know about ourselves that comes up to the surface when we're resting, when we're most relaxed, when we're most like, you know, not engaging in any active thought, all of a sudden those thoughts, they go peekaboo and they just peek their heads out and they tell you, hey, I've kind of been around, you know, let's talk about this. Let's, you know, let's deal with this. Let's talk about these fears that you've had. Let's talk about those things that you want that are outside of your reach. And all these fears start coming up to you. This is why we're afraid to rest. This is why we're afraid to like just relax. We're afraid that we're gonna drop the ball. And as soon as we drop the ball, we drop the control. And as soon as, as, soon as we drop the control, we are afraid that what we want is not gonna be on track anymore. How scary is that? If I could only just keep going on track, just keep everything going to plan, everything is predictable, then my goal, I could calculate, I can get within these steps and I will get over there within a certain period of time if I don't rest. But if I allow myself to rest, then things will start to come up and I will start to have thoughts and I will start to maybe branch out, my mind will start to branch out into the unknown. And who knows if I will even continue to want this thing anymore. So there is a lot of hold back from resting. But I want you to know the power that comes from resting is so much more than just dealing with things in the subconscious. When you're you when you are able to calibrate your body back into alignment, which means that you are inherently telling yourself, you're sending the message to yourself and the signal to yourself that my energy is important, I'm prioritizing myself, I'm taking care of myself, I'm an important person, I am worthy of rest, I'm worthy of sleep, I'm worthy of wellness, then you can come back to an agreement with your body that, all right, I want this thing, like my mind is thinking about this thing, and my body can calibrate to what the mind wants. But when the body is in resistance, meaning the body has not had rest, it is tired, it is frustrated, it's holding tension. You know, sometimes when you're 
when you're tired or when you're frustrated or when you're processing a lot of emotions that you ca- you're carrying that tension in your body. You're probably carrying that tension in your voice and you probably don't even know it. You know, sometimes people will say, oh, why are you talking so fast? Why are you so stressed? Why do you, why are you frowning? And you don't even know that you're frowning. <laughs> But your body is carrying all that subtle messages that you have not had time to explore. But when you finally allow yourself to be in this place of leaning back and relaxing and taking deeper breaths and just move in a slower pace, right? And resting could, you know, look different for every single person. I'm not saying that you need to, you know, go to a spa or like take the whole day off. It doesn't mean that you have to go to the park. Like, Resting means something different for every single person. So define what resting means for you. It could be playing with your children. It could be going to the park. It could be, you know, tanning under the sun. It could be um, being by the pool for half an hour. Like it could, it could mean anything. But when you allow yourself to calibrate your body to your best energy, then your body is recuperated, it's rested, it feels good, now the energy is back in your body, and then you can do the thing, and then your body will not be resisting to do the thing that you need to do. Because what often happens is that when your your body is carrying that tension, it's not aligned to your desires, it's not aligned to your thoughts, it's not aligned to what you want. What is it going to do? It start. It's going to start betraying you right? How many times have you, you know, wanted to do something and you have all the willpower in the world. You are so determined to do it, but then all of a sudden you realize your body is going like, no, we're not going there. No, we're not going there. Like you have that page pulled up and you have that email you want to write. And then you're just staring at the screen and you're like, I don't know what to type. It's the words are not coming. It's just, the fingers are not moving. I'm just in a frozen position and I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to write. I don't know how to, I don't know how to share this thing that I want to share. It's like my body is not in agreement with me. It's like on a silent protest. And it's, it's a silent process because the body is very subtle, right? So unless you really take the time to tune in to listen to the body, to really hear what it has to say, to give the space for your body to speak to you. You won't really know what's going on. You won't really know what it needs. So the rest is the place where you can actually be back in your alignment. That is the place where you will manifest everything. The ideas will come to you. All of a sudden, you'll find yourself a lot more in flow, a lot more creative, a lot more connected with other people, especially when you do anything with speaking. When you're rested and you feel good in your body and you are, you know, you feel your vitality again, you feel your energy, you are a lot more forward like you, you you have a lot more forward energy to understand people, to be engaging, to be putting things out there, to be helping people and all those beautiful things that you know your body can do, but cannot do when your body's in resistance, when your body's on a secret protest. So this is how you literally manifest in the most effortless way, because it's not about doing anything faster. It's not about doing anything more or strategizing more or thinking more. You don't have to plan more. The literally the plan is going to come to you the moment you relax and you see everything as it is. And you're going to have so much clarity of what to do next. This is the kind of magic that your mind cannot do for you because the mind can only conceptualize what it already knows. Your body, allow your body to be the receiver, like to tune in to the unknown so that the body can help you receive. And then when the body is relaxed, literally your mind can turn your feelings, your emotions into useful information. I hope that this message was really helpful for you because um, because your body deserves that refreshment. It deserves that calibration. And when you are in that calibrated energy, then everything feels really easy and effortless for you. So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in here. I love you all. I appreciate your time and energy for being here with me. Let me know your thoughts about 
you know, this conversation. I would love to hear what you have to think about, think and say about it. So with that said, thank you. I'll be seeing you in the next video. I love you all.